I can't believe I'm saying this because I had really high expectations of the God Champions, but I think he might be the most crazy, like impressive unit of the ones released today. All right, so I ended up actually farming the event because you were able to get all the Ascension items for Iori day one. And I did because I know I wasn't going to stream FGO later this week. So we can do also his first impressions on day one. Now, this video might not come out on day one, but yeah, hopefully soon anyway. But hopefully you enjoyed the other videos that I put out because there's a lot of content needless to say. But let's just get right into it. We got the welfare himself, Mr. Miyamoto Iori right here. Yes, indeed. I'm pretty excited because I already saw some of his animations using him in the uh, four story support fights and uh, yeah as someone who played SR it's very cool to see a bunch of familiar you know stances attacks etc very nice yeah let's first level him up and obviously you know as a welfare there really won't be any that big of a, like visual changes but you know if there's anything I'll add it but most likely this will mostly just focus on the gameplay side all right here we go the one change that actually will be a bit different the final ascension art Let's see. Obviously, it should be the same outfit and everything, but how's the pose? Do like a JoJo pose or something? Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of badass, though. Under the blood moon and everything, the red the tint, though. Yeah, dude, it's like Kagura Bachi. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's the meme. <laughs> but yeah, memes aside, it actually looks pretty badass, though. So how's the battle sprite looking, the one we have? Yep. Pretty much what you expect, just a, you know, default samurai idol pose. If you expected anything else, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Not really much to say for a welfare, but you know what? I still like his design. But then, yeah, let's talk about gameplay. Four star saver. Actually, I should finish his levels first. All right, so we're back. Also, yeah, uh, I can't help but notice, but he has Yagyu's attack, right? Honestly, very interesting. It's the 9999. It's either an unsatisfying number or a satisfying number, depending on how you look at it. But, you know, that aside, it's a pretty good amount of attack for a welfare too. Like, that's actually a nice amount of attack, I feel like. Basically 11,000 when you 1k foe him on base max level 80, which is very solid for a 4-star. Now, deck-wise, what do we got for Mr. Iori? I'm guessing... Actually, he could be like anything, honestly. What is he? Aha! Double Buster, double Arts. Makes sense. Now, hit counts, we have uh, four on Buster and Arts each. Nice. And then three on Quick. Wow. So the one that's the one that only has one card is the least amount of hits. Interesting. And Quick usually has higher hit counts anyway. And then Extra is a six hitter. Cool. MP gain, we got 0.42. Hmm. Does not scream amazing to me, but again, you know, we haven't even seen skills, MP, etc. yet, so we'll see. Still liking the deck. Obviously, again, this is my favorite deck type, the double buster, double arts. Now, the MP type is bust. Oh, no, they actually hide it. Wait a minute. Do I have to... Oh, I have to... Oh, no. So I have to... I hope Atlas has it. Well, that's awkward. Oh, they have it. Okay. So we're going to have to cheat a little bit and reveal the MP effects beforehand. But I mean, you saw the reveal. You know what the MP is. Let's be real. Anyway, uh, we're going to get to that later, I suppose. But I assume the card type still is Buster. That probably is not a lie. So passives. Let's go. Let's go. We got uh, very basic Saber passives. We got Magic Res B. That equals to 17 and a half percent debuff res and then riding B for 8% quick up. And that's it. Last one is for the event. So as basic as it gets for Saber. Well, I guess, I guess not all of them even have riding. So maybe slightly better, but you know, not much to say there. Now, anti-append is against Sabers. Well, makes sense. There's a lot of duels and whatnot between Sabers. Kind of, you know, the usual neutral case. And then I guess we're going to talk about the MP, but I'm going to have to cheat here. I'm going to have to look it up on Atlas. Okay. So we have a six hit buster MP. And let's let me read the effects first of all. Self quick up for three turns. Buster card up for three turns. And then get sure hit for one turn. Okay. And then does powerful damage to one enemy. Okay, single target. Makes sense. And then also a star bomb, which scales with overcharge after that. So wow, uh, quick and buster up and sure hit before damage. Huh, interesting. Whoa, actually sounds very promising, actually, for a welfare too. Okay, so six hits on buster. And then the numbers are 20% for both card types. And they're three turns each. Yeah, it's quick and buster up. Wow. Okay, they don't scale obviously, but still flat 20 on for three turns is good. And then sure hit for one turn. 
Star Bomb is a base 10 on OC. That's not that's not amazing, but it scales up to 30. So it's scaling is okay, but there's bigger Star Bombs out there. But honestly, if anything, I'm happy with the uh, card types up being both not only just three turns instead of one, but also 20% each. Whoa. And yeah, it would make sense for it to be Buster and Arch, right? But I have a feeling because the original technique is an ar a quick MP, right? It probably has to be quick like that. I like it, honestly. And remember, it's a free MP5, so that's nice. Yeah, honestly, it seems like a nice, good, welfare, single-target MP. Like, very good. All right, let's uh, jump into the skills next. All right, we got Absorb of some sort. Uh, yeah, self-absorb for three turns. Okay, <laughs> stole that from uh, Ushigozet, I guess. And then crit damage for three turns. And every turn gets stars for three turns. And still also mental debuff resistance for three turns. Wow, that's quite a lot. And all three turns. Six turn cooldown. Wait, this is a welfare skill? What? 500% absorb on max rank, 30% crit damage, 10 stars per turn, and then 50% mental debuff resistance. Wow, this is a great skill for a welfare. Four three effect turns that are all either very useful to semi useful, and they're up half the time. This is a good skill. Yeah, great. Then we got a battery icon. Self battery. Okay, and then attack up for three turns, and a star bomb on use, and then, whoa, <laughs> all enemies get a burn applied to them for three turns. Wow, okay, interesting, some honey lake synergy as well, without CCs. Six turn cooldown, numbers, we got 30% battery for self, hey, and 20% attack for three turns, and a 20 star bomb, whoa, and then the burn is 1k on max rank for three turns. <clears throat> wow, this is a really good skill too! What? Like, he's packed with offense and stuff, what? And it's good stuff too. Okay, so, I mean, it's, it's really good so far. And then we got a rainbow icon, okay, okay! So self, quick up for three turns, arts up for three turns, and buster up for three turns, and then... Damage cut for three turns, and also an evade for two times three turns! Bro, this guy is loaded! Uh, are you kidding me? He has everything! And a 6 turn cooldown as well. Okay, so the card types are 20% each again. Damage cut is 500, that's not much, but it also th it's 3 turns and not like based on hits either, so that's a cool bonus. And it's a 2 hit, 3 turn evade. What? This guy is really good. And also, yeah, immediately I thought of Yui as well, because again, with, with if you use him with Yui, you immediately, with this skill alone, you already get all of her buffs from her MP. Dude, this guy is really- I, I, Honestly, I might agree with Dragon. I can't believe I'm saying this because I had really high expectations of the God Champions, but I think he might be the most crazy, like, impressive unit of the ones released today. This is a, this has to be a top tier welfare. Like, I may have been a bit, uh, you know, uh, t uh, like, too rough on um, Magoichi. I may have been a bit too harsh on Magoichi, but wow, Iori looks bonkers. Like, he has defense and, and a shit ton of offense too. Wow, and, and pretty good numbers too. I feel like he's gonna be the best single target saver for a lot of people, depending on how your account looks like. I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> like, I'm more impressed than I am was than I was with uh, Ushi, Gozen, and uh, Yui as well. So honestly, the best unit might be the free one in this time, from the new ones. I don't know about Takeru much yet, because I haven't looked at him, but... Iori looks really freaking good! Compared to Hajime, I feel like if you have like an MP1 uh, Hajime, you know, a free MP5, I think you would pick Iori, honestly, easily over him. <laughs> this is accurate to SR. Yeah, he actually, it, it, over, over the story, no spoilers or anything, but he does get pretty strong. And I feel like the version we have is like, you know, well, since we know what the MP is, it's clearly like him at his peak in the story. So, makes sense as, as to why they probably, you know, made him this good then. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna wrap it up there, but dude, I'm seriously impressed with Iori. Could be already- I mean, the year has literally just begun and he's the first welfare, but I wouldn't be surprised if he would be a contender for the best welfare of the year. If you enjoyed it, do be a solid and press the thumbs up button on this video, okay? Really helps out. And do subscribe not to miss out on future videos. Whenever there's new content, I'll be there ready to post, so don't miss out on, get notified. Enjoy Iori if you play JP. I'm sure he's gonna serve you really well. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and peace out.